So, it is time for the fourth song from this Mustang Kunlapset album kohti, um, <coughs> called Valo. And the fourth song is called Kohti Valoa, meaning towards lights. That is something that you probably already know. Um, it is quite hard to say what this is. Well, <laughs> it is easy to say that uh, this narrator is dead. But now he he kind of explains why he's dead. It, it kind of sounds like that he has committed suicide, that he is dead on purpose. But you know, I just let you do the rest of the interpretation. But anyway, so the first sentence means I leave my sorrow to you so you won't be alone. There is nothing complicated here. Uh, the next sentence, like a picture from yesterday, with beautiful and rough frames. So there's a picture from yesterday, which is beautiful, and, you know, the picture is beautiful and it has rough frames. So he leaves the sorrow kind of like a picture of uh, from yesterday. You know what I mean. Yes. Uh, then I leave my sorrow to you and be with you always. You know, that is kind of the reason why he's leaving the sorrow to her. Again, I assume it is her. Doesn't matter. Um, so, he's leaving the sorrow to her. So, he would be always with her. It brings you to my dream to be with me. It, that, that is actually quite hard and it took me a while to understand even the Finnish version. But you know, it's whatever it is, basically brings her to his dream to be with him. In a place where they both are free from sorrow, so maybe there is something that probably kills this other person. So then they would end up both to the place where there is no sorrow, which I assume is either heaven or hell or something like that, or anyway place after death. Okay, the second verse, I leave my sorrow to you, you can carry it or you can tolerate the sorrow, you can take care of it, you can deal with it, something like that. So he assume, assumes that she is quite a strong person who can handle the sorrow. It will help when everything else collapses. I don't exactly know how sorrow would help anything, but you know, that's what the narrator is trying to say here. Anyway, so it helps when everything collapses, it heals the wounds. Again, I don't know how, <laughs> how well that, that's... Anyway, what he's trying to say, what he's saying, I leave my sorrow to you, take care of it. So he's kind of asking that she would take care of this sorrow. As long as it lives in you, only a part of me is dead. Or only a part of me died, more literally. I think especially the last sentence is beautiful and, and I... Even though there is some, some parts that even I don't quite get what it means. I really like these, these lyrics. This is, this is kind of gorgeous and, and, and it is, you know, I don't know. Very beautiful thinking and, uh, and the fact that, you know, sorrow can be a friend with you that you actually get something positive from sorrow is it sounds fairly hopeful and uh, it is good, good to remember that you can you can be an ally with negative feelings as well not in the sense that you'd, you'd become violent or anything I mean that is possible but that's not what I, I'm talking about here the fact that your personal struggle can can also 
be a good thing. I think this is great, great philosophy and, and especially very beautifully said. Okay, but that is the song this time. I hope you liked it and uh, yeah, you know the drill and stuff. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>